800-763-8517. That's 800-763-8517. Right now and get 50% off installations with no interest and no payments for 12 months. Replace that old bathtub today with a walk-in shower for a safer bathing experience. If you have lived in your home for over 15 years, it's time to remodel your bathroom. For a virtual or in-home appointment, call 800-763-8517. That's 800-763-8517. 800-763-8517. You work hard to provide a better life for your family. The only problem is that you now have a tax bill that you can't afford to pay. The IRS is now threatening to garnish your wages. And We're going to see if we can get Ed on the phone. See what happens here. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. If we can't get him on the phone, it's fine. Ed Brodo, please leave me a message and I'll call you back. Thank you. Okay. Ed, it's James Lowe calling you for your radio interview. I had you down for an interview today at this time. Uh, give me a call back, 620-402-0878. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, I couldn't find our guest, but I've got IQ, <laughs> which, is, which is good. James, uh, what and happened? There is Ed, I believe. James, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I've got you. I've got to put you on a quick hold here because. Ed, how are you, sir? Good. Uh, are you out of trouble getting in on my Skype? Uh, yes. I tried to call you on Skype and it wouldn't connect. So I tried to call you on the telephone and I got your voicemail. <laughs> Yes, yes, you can send it to this number, and I will try it again here. All right, let's, let's, let's give it a shot. Let me uh, text you my Skype profile. Okay, go ahead and text me, and I'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll try it again. So, go ahead and text me. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Okay, we are going to do this. We are going to, uh, all sorts of things. Okay. Okay. IQ. Sorry about that. I was uh, all right. Our, our, all right. Our, our, our guest was was trying to uh, trying to get in, and I was giving him Skype advice. Okay, let me get Is done. With us? Uh, yes, I've got to call him here in just a second, and then we will uh, we will have him on, and then I'm we'll rumble. waiting on a text from our guest here, and he will hopefully give me his updated Skype information. <laughs> So we will see what happens. Uh, trying to get a hold of Don. So we'll see what happens there. And uh, uh, it's always fun. So IQL Rizzoli, uh, we were scheduled to have Ed Boudreau with us today, but he apparently he's out there somewhere. And he's trying to connect with us on Skype. So hopefully we will talk oh, to him here in a few. And I'm waiting on Don to uh, to pick up. So we're going to talk to him as well. And apparently we are going to go. Okay. I'm going to push you on a brief hold. And we're going to try this again. Okay. So, Ed. Uh, James, I've got you down for November 16th. Okay. Well, then we can talk then. <laughs> Uh, well, I've got you down today. I think what happened is I booked you for the 16th through one guest booker, and I had another guest booker book you for today. So, so we'll just, here's what we'll do. We'll just keep the 16th. We'll do the 16th, and I will talk to you on the 16th. Okay. We'll just do that. Thank you, sir. Okay, so no Ed Boudreau today. So let's go back to IQ. <laughs> okay, so uh, we weren't able to find Don on the one Skype, so we're going to try him on the other Skype. And uh, we will see if we can get him there. 
and uh, see what happens. And apparently our guest said that he had us down for November 16th. So he's going to go ahead and keep his November 16th gig, and we're just going to go ahead and do Don, Me, and IQ today. So it's going to be all sorts of fun. And there's no Don Mazzell there, so it may just be the IQ show hey, with, uh, I love with me. So, And there's Ed Bedreau again. Okay. Ed, how are you, sir? It's good. It keeps bouncing back saying this is not a valid number to text. Okay, well, uh, the Skype that I have for you uh, on here, let me uh, pull up your Skype ID, and we'll do this, we'll do this, um, is ed.brodow. Nope, that's not it. Uh, let me see what my Skype ID is. Because, because... My Skype name is ed.brodow. Try typing that in. Okay. E. Okay. Well, we'll we'll try this. E dash. Not not dash. E one whole word. E dow. E w e d o w d forty five. E w. Okay. Well, let 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 me do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on hold real quick, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna hang up IQ and call him back. (laughs) We're not gonna do this on the air. It's just not gonna happen. So we're going to play ads to provide a better back. life for your family. The only problem is that you now have a tax bill that you can't afford to pay. The IRS is now threatening to garnish your wages and put a levy on your bank account. You can't ignore the IRS. They won't go away on their own. You need help. And you need it now. Give us a call now and we'll create a plan of action for you that we guarantee will work. Stop the harassing phone calls. Stop the threatening letters. Stop wage garnishments. Stop any bank levies. And most importantly, put an end to your tax nightmare once and for all. If you have a tax debt of $10,000 or more, call the tax pros at United Tax Fix today. Representatives are standing by to assist you. Call 800-678-7027. 800-678-7027. That's 800-678-7027. Call now. If you have ever thought about remodeling your bathroom but were worried it would take too long or cost too much, then stop worrying. Right now, Jacuzzi Bath Remodel has designed a collection of high-quality custom products and perfected the one-day remodeling experience so you can enjoy your new bathroom faster than ever before. It's a worry-free bath remodel from the most trusted brand name in the business, Jacuzzi. A Jacuzzi Bath System fits in your existing tub space. It's a no-mess installation with an amazing style selection, factory-certified installers, and a limited lifetime warranty. Call 800-763-8517. That's 800-763-8517. Right now and get 50% off installations with no interest and no payments for 12 months. Replace that old bathtub today with a walk-in shower for a safer bathing experience. If you have lived in your home for over 15 years, it's time to remodel your bathroom for a virtual or in-home appointment. Call 800-763-8517. That's 800-763-8517. 800-763-8517. You work hard to provide a better life for your family. The only problem is that you now have a tax bill that you can't afford to pay. The IRS is now threatening to garnish your wages and put a levy on your bank account. Okay, you can't there the we IRS. are. They- so I've got you. <laughs> We're good. Sorry Fat- about this. Fantastic. We, uh, we, we made progress with the technology today. We, we, we certainly did, and apparently... Uh, they sent you the wrong Skype address. I'll get on them for hey, that. Hey, that's fine. Not, 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 not a problem. Let me, uh, let me grab IQ <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe we can grab Don. Who knows? We can. Uh, we'll just add. We'll just add IQ to the call. There we are. Maybe. There we are. Okay. We'll see if IQ will pick up. Hello. There he is. There he is. There's IQ uh, Rizzoli. Okay. So we have got <laughs> we have got a topsy turvy uh, show today. 
But uh, we're making progress, and uh, no one has died, which is good. Uh, it's, it's, it's the same thing I always say after I do a, uh, a, a heavy weight in the gym. I go, at least I didn't die. Uh, we have got a great guest with us today. <laughs> he joins us live via the magic of the old Skip Skype. Yes, the Skyper Rooney. And uh, we also have with us today the fantastic IQ Rizzoli. Um So, Ed, you have got a lot going on. Uh, talk to us a little bit about your latest project. Uh, the latest research we've done uh, is uh, unfortunately not good news. Uh, my team and I uh, dropped a uh, malignant cancer report this week uh, from the UK, ages 15 to 44, and it showed a, let me see here the numbers on the malignant cancer Zero uh, percent uh, excess cancers in 2020, 13 percent in 21, and 43 percent in 2022 in this age group. And the standard deviation on 2022 is 16, which is anything above three is considered a black swan event. Just to give your audience an idea what a uh, uh, standard deviation of 10 is, is like, that's the chance of uh, you giving birth to um, an eight foot giant called Thanos. So it's not likely. So there's something going <laughs> it's not on. Not likely. Yeah, it, 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 and another another way to think about standard deviations: three point eight standard deviations is the chance of lightning hitting you at least once in your lifetime. So wow. In finance and science, we call these signals. Something's gone off the rails from the normal trend. There, these things trend at very predictable rates, and we have signals. So this is what we got going on. That's the latest research. A couple of weeks before that. We found a signal in the cardiovascular uh, excess deaths in the UK, ages 15 through 44. So, you know, you could, uh, we have a thesis, it's the vaccines. If it's not, then what is it and why is nobody talking about it? Because it's a signal. We have got a great guest with us today. Um, IQ Al Rizzoli, ironically, is in the United Kingdom. Um, IQ... Uh, what what are some of the things that you're seeing over there with uh, in relating to COVID and some of the different things? Well, I'll tell you what. I had the COVID injections, and I had adverse effects. I never had a cold in my life. I never had an injection for cold in my life. Now, I screech from my nose 24 hours a day. Mm. I use more tissue papers than the whole family in a week. I mean, it's unbelievable. Even my taste buds changed. I don't taste the food the way I used to do to eat it. So, for when people tell you that there are no side effects, bull crap. There are serious side effects, and I'm not the type of person who is, uh, you know, easily maneuvered or easily uh, imposed the thought on. I'm very independent and very realistic. So when I'm telling you that I never had these symptoms before, this is exactly what happened. I never had them before, Mm. but now I have them. And now I've got them for last since since uh, 2020. It's unbelievable. We we don't know what they put in these virus uh, vaccines. We have no idea. Doctor, what do you think? Yeah, what what, what, what do you think about this, Ed? Uh, look, I, 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 my children took the vaccine, my ex-wife took the vaccine, my dad took the vaccine, my brother took the vaccine. Thankfully, they've had no adverse side effects, but I've gotten a lot of them on uh, detox protocols, especially Dr. Peter McCullough's protocols. It's I, I don't have the exact uh, protocols in front of me, but you can Google his name, and he's got a way of to, to detoxify the spike protein, because the problem is, is that your immune system has been compromised to some extent. The good news, yeah. I think, it can be reversed. So look into those protocols. And the tragedy of this whole thing is that uh, this is not being widely disseminated, so people don't know what the hell's going on, so they think they have XYZ, but really they're just vaccine injured, and if they take care of the root cause, which is the spike protein, these things should go away. Hmm. Who is the criminal? Who is guilty? Uh, uh, look, there's a lot of people involved, uh, the pharmaceutical companies, the regulators, the politicians, the people who mandated this. This is the biggest scandal uh, we've ever seen in the history of man. We're not going to be talking about this for the next 10 years. We're going to be talking about it for the next 100 years. Yep. 
So you have got an incredible book. Uh, talk to us a little bit about this book, because you, you've put a lot of research, a lot of time and effort into this incredible book. Fill me an IQ and the audience there a little bit on it. Yeah, so it's called Cause Unknown, the Epidemic of Sudden Death in 21 and 22. It takes uh, anecdotal uh, evidence and marries it with uh, what we call metadata. It, a, lot, a lot of news stories are there. We don't make any comments on the news stories. We just present the news stories in the book with the QR code. And uh, we then uh, uh, you know, show you what's gone on with excess deaths across uh, the globe, in, especially in the UK, Europe, and the US. We also look at disabilities in the U.S., and since the book's come out, we've, we've gotten e even more research. But the bottom line is this. I, I present the evidence is real, that these numbers are the numbers. I do not get into the who or why. I speculate as to what the, the, is causing it. My personal opinion is the vaccines, and I pose the question, if it's not that, what is it, and why are the healthcare authorities silent about these numbers now? We have numbers now that are worse than the pandemic number, so... It's very curious yeah. we're not uh, flashing uh, deaths and cases of what's going on all over the ticker tape like we did in 2020. They seem to want this to just kind of go away quietly. So I've, my book, I've been told, uh, has been effective at convincing loved ones that uh, there may be something afoot here. I come at it from kind of a Wall Street perspective. It is what it is. And I, I don't get into the who or why because I wasn't in the room. But the, 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 those questions will be answered later once we stop this nonsense. So how is the book doing as far as... Have you as... had any pushback from other people, from people who support yeah. vaccines? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they call me an anti-vaxxer. Uh, they say I'm a horrible person. Some of my friends have disowned me. And uh, quite honestly, <laughs> I don't care because I've been in this spot on Wall Street before. I've been through, this is my third fraud. There was the dot-com fraud in the early days of that. Uh, people on Wall Street thought I was crazy because they told me, Ed, uh, it's, a new, it's a new paradigm. That eventually all fell apart. Then in the real estate uh, fraud, I was told, Ed, uh, home prices never go down. Um, and so that was uh, also uh, a, uh, a, um, uh, a, a point where I was called crazy. And then now... And now, uh, in this uh, fraud, it's called safe and effective, and uh, we know it's neither safe nor effective, and uh, I was called crazy, continue to be called crazy. But I will tell you, I'm being called crazy less and less, and the, the tide is turning. I think the, uh, the evidence can't be hidden any, any longer, and I think people are going to start to wake up, and it's, it's happening quickly. Hey, I am, I'm called crazy all the time, <laughs> because I reveal facts about Islam like nobody else has been able to do it in the last 1,400 years. So I have no problem. The more they call me crazy, the more I know I am not on the right track and they are on the wrong track. The more they insult me. Because if if they know it better than I do, why insult me? Prove me wrong. Exactly. Uh, the, you, you know you're over the target when they uh, start calling you names. It's, it's called an ad hominem attack. And it uh, doesn't, uh, it's, a, it's a logical fallacy. And if their only uh, defense is to call you names, we, we, you, you've already won the debate. I know. Believe me, I know. But it, it's very hard. It's very hard because you're trying to help people, and the other side is stabbing you in the back not to help people. Yeah, we, we're at a curious point in history. What's gone on here, unfortunately, is a lot of people invested their identity and ego into this whole thing. And they don't want to admit they're wrong. I saw it on Wall Street before this issue all the time. And one of my ethics professors in, in business school made a, a statement that's always stuck with me. He said, it, uh, you can't rationalize facts to someone whose position is based on emotion and, and, and ego. Yeah. And that's where we find ourselves. People have taken this. They want to admit that they're wrong. And, and if they took this and then forced it upon others through uh, cajoling or uh, shame, they definitely don't want to let their ego uh, be wounded. So that's where we are. And But, you know, the truth is eventually going to come out. More and more people are waking up. I do know many people who have, uh, you know, become, uh, pulled a 180 on this. And this happened on Wall Street. People would ride stocks all the way down to zero, except this time you don't lose just money. You can potentially lose your health and your life if you continue to get boosted. Obviously, IQ, you're not getting boosted anymore. And uh, if you were to continue to get boosted, you know what happens there. Correct. 
the tragedy I'm watching in America and Europe, that you have two generations of children who are completely and utterly good. They have no morality. They have no sense. They're completely failed. They're completely failed animals. They're not human beings. What do you, you know? Uh, I I call I, I don't I, I don't call them animals. I call them the unbegotten. They're just not conscious of what they they, they don't know what they don't know. Uh, the good news is is humanity. I have faith in humanity. I think uh, you know th these things happen generationally. We have cycles of this. The the younger generations forgot what the older generations learned because. Uh, they weren't taught it or uh, what have you. And, you know, good times create weak, weak men and hard times create strong men. And we're going through one of those weak times. And uh, the, uh, or, or, uh, we're, gonna, we're, go we're going into tough times. The so strong men are coming back. I hope you're right, but I'm not so sure it will happen. I mean, I'm seeing the, the demonstrations against Israel. It's not because I'm siding with Israel. I'm, I'm trying to understand. When you have such evil behavior by Hamas, how could any Westerner, an educated university students, male and female, support the terrorists? I can't figure it out. I mean, can you explain it to me, maybe? Uh, no, that it, it, there is definitely a, um, a situation afoot where uh, those in power constantly want to divide us. Uh, in 21 and 22, it was vaccinated versus unvaccinated. Now we're going to now we're going to divide even further along the lines of pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel. We both know none of those people, the innocents on both sides, do not benefit. Who benefits? Those in power, those who make weapons, those who uh, print money. We know who benefits, and unfortunately, uh, the lesson will be learned the hard way after many deaths. Unfortunately, that's just the way history works. I've always worked it out. It all started with Obama. Obama in eight years damaged America more than Soviet Union and communist China in 72 years. I'll never change my mind about this one. He was the one who instigated all the destruction, the division, the hatred. He started it, and he continuing now on his third term under Biden. I am not going to disagree with you on that point. <laughs> at oh, <all>. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> I have nothing to add. <laughs> I have nothing to add. That is awesome. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> so, so your book uh, has been getting a lot of rave reviews. Uh, talk to us a little bit about just some of the different feedback you've gotten on this book so far. Well, people just are appreciative that there's a different alternative voice. They like the way that I present the data without getting into the who or the why or the, you know, that, you know, again, we don't know, I don't know the, the culprits behind it. I'm presenting it as is. And a lot of the reviews respect the fact that I come at it from a very heavily analytical and well-sourced viewpoint. I, you know, there's QR codes in the book that kind of source everything uh, so people can check for themselves. I don't, I don't ask people to, to believe my theory um, but I, you can believe the data and you can believe uh, a lot of the, the stories presented in there as factual. So that, that's, that's what I'm proud of is that I have a thesis, it's the vaccines, but if it's not the vaccines, what is it and why are they uh, authority silent? So that seems to resonate with lots of people and that seems to be what most of the reviews uh, refer to. I mean, if I'm reading a book, I would love to read like what you said. I can verify everything by reading it, going to the sources. Same thing with my books. I have a trilogy called Lifting the Veil, the True Faces of Muhammad and Islam. Believe me, I have one and a half million dollars of challenges on the Internet and in writing for any human being to prove me wrong. Fourteen years later, I have lost a dime <laughs> and I have a single imam debate me. Not one out of one and a half billion people. So I must <laughs> that's, be a lot of, that's a lot of imams that don't <laughs> want to talk to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so when you were putting this book together, Ed, what was uh, your goals? Look, the goal the goal was to uh, make people aware uh, that they weren't getting the straight story. And in my humble opinion, since I thought it was the vaccines, and we are, and at the time of the printing of the book, we already knew that they didn't prevent you from getting COVID or transmitting. So I wasn't worried about you know deterring people from from uh, you know. 
safety, I was deterring them from potential side effects. And I think as the evidence rolls in, I'm proud of the fact that I may have changed some hearts and minds and saved some lives. And if I did, if I did that, then, you know, the book was worthwhile. Fantastic. I agree with you wholeheartedly because my message is exactly the same. If I convert two or three people to leave Islam, and if I teach 100 people to understand Islam, I have literally done my job. That's it. It's yeah. Not, yeah. We're not here for the money. We're not here for the glory. Nothing. Yeah, there's no, there's, no glo- there's no glory in what you do or I do. And, you know, when we uh, go to the next world, we'll, uh, you know, we'll put our heads into the grave at peace, I believe. Well, okay, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> we have got a tremendous guest with us today. Uh, Ed Dowd joins us here on our big broadcast. He has written some incredible books and has done a lot of research. Um, when when you go through and submit your finished product to a publisher, do you get any pushback from people going, I don't know if you want to put that in the book? <laughs> uh, you know, it, the book goes through a rigorous process. The, what the, I did have an editor. The, the gentleman who wrote my afterward was Gavin DeBecker. And quite honestly... I did write about seven to 8,000 words to, to, to speculate about the who and the why. And he and I both agreed that we should probably not do that. And we uh, killed that part of the book because it just didn't serve its purpose because the book on its face alone stands on the facts. For me to get speculate without, I mean, I think my, my theory of the case is the who and the why is good, but who cares? So we killed that part of the book. You did the right thing, honestly. I mean... I'm on your side, 100%. You did the right thing. It's got to stand by itself, and that's it. That's that's exactly what we did. So, yeah, it, we, there was a rigorous editorial process, and uh, that decision was made, and I'm glad we did it. And at the end, yeah. and we conclude with the book saying we don't care about the who and the why, but we find it curious that the uh, regulatory authorities see what we see and remain silent. So that stands on it. That, 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 that's what we call a cover-up. We have got a great guest with us today. Ed Dowd joins us here on our big program. And uh, your book is is just fascinating. You've put a lot of time and effort into the book. Uh, you've got a lot of, you know, five-star reviews online. Uh, is there a follow-up planned? Well, uh, my publisher has not approached me, but the book came out December 13, 2022. You roll forward uh, 10 months, my team at Finance Technologies, spelled with a P-H, dot com, uh, we've uh, added to the research, so I suspect there might be another one coming because it's only gotten even, our thesis in the book is quite good, the thesis has only gotten stronger since then as we uncover more and more unfortunate data that is getting worse and worse, so that that's that's the tragedy of all this, is that it's not getting, it's, it's not getting better, it's only getting worse. Why were you more concentrating on England? I'm so sur- surprised about your statements about England. Well, we have uh, we we've, we've looked we have data on the U.S., but the data in the U.K. has been actually better uh, than the, the CDC data. So you know, uh, props to the U.K. for at least making that data available, and, and we're able to uncover more data there than we are in the U.S. at the moment. Uh, we we got the excess deaths in the U.S. But the UK affords us the ability to get more granular and get more detailed. So that that you know, I, I give the UK props for at least uh, not trying to hide it. Question: Israel had a very very great number of uh, researchers done on this on the COVID, and they can supply you with information. How come you didn't go to them? Because they uh, literally vaccinated the whole nation, and they kept track of everything. We've yeah, cited, in, 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 in some of our research, we cite, cite some of the studies that reference that. Uh, we haven't, uh, we have, for some reason, my, my researchers haven't found the databases, or I think it's it's in uh, Hebrew, so it's, there's a translation problem. <laughs> <laughs> so that that, 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 that that provides some difficulty. Um, yeah, yes. Uh, we've, we've tried to look at the Japanese data as well, but again, we don't have a Japanese speak, uh, language expert. Huh? So there are some language issues. Right. That makes sense. Thank you. 
Yep. Before we let you go, Ed, uh, what is next for you? Well, you know, look, this, this, I've been. Uh, there's not a lot of money in books, and all the research that we have on our website has been done pro bono. Uh, so I eventually need a day job. My team and I met in, through finance, and we're eventually going to start a uh, global macro alternative hedge fund. That's been put off due to this important work that we're doing because it's, you know, Raising a hedge fund, if there's nobody to uh, invest in it, doesn't work. So we're trying to save as many lives as possible. Then we'll worry about uh, our day jobs later. Eventually, a day job will appear. We'll raise capital, and we'll start the firm and generate revenues. Right now, the, the firm exists without revenues. It's all pro bono at the moment. Amazing. I wish you the best of luck. I promise you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, my friend. You are amazing, Ed. Before we let you go, how do we get in touch with you online? social media, websites, buy your book, everything. Yeah, the book is found on Amazon, Cause Unknown, The Epidemic of Sudden Death in 21 and 22. I'm on Twitter at Dowd Edward, D-O-W-D Edward, on Getter at Edward Dowd. And uh, our website is financetechnologies.com with a P-H instead of F. The Humanity Projects is where we have all our research. And if you want to reach out to our team, uh, uh, you can reach out via there on email. Fantastic. Well, Ed, thanks for... Lovely uh, to have met you. Take care. I wish you the best. Spending thank you, my as, friend. Thank, thank you for uh, today and a great interview. Spending as much time as you did with me and IQ Al Rizzoli. Thank you, sir. There he goes. That is Ed Dow. He joins us here on our big, big program. And uh, we are going to do this. Uh, let's see here. We've got like six damn... Skype windows. I don't know what's going on here. Let's go back here. Two IQ.